and three. What is good, people? Carlos changed. <laughs> He's been out in the sun too long. That. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I'm doing my cat now. No, no. He's, uh, Carlos is out for the weekend, enjoying some family time. So, speaking of family, you guys probably have never seen him on camera, but you may have heard him off camera. EJ, my son in law, EJ Cagle. Welcome to Fresh Crack Friday. Yes. And so, we're having some cigars coming a little bit later than normal. We had a big steak dinner and was, all that good stuff. It, it so. was amazing. Mm -hmm. And listening to some All My Life, falling in reverse with some jelly roll. Okay, so we're going to get this shit started. I've had Yellowstone many a times. But this is actually a North Shore Eagle Liquor Pick. Single barrel. Coming in at 115 proof. So he's not much of a bourbon drinker, uh, guys. Not much of a bourbon drinker. No. So you remember the cry, how we rate everything? Yeah. So appearance, aroma, taste, and finish. So essentially how it goes all the way down. Um, I've had single barrel before, but not a store pick one. As you know, every barrel is different. So we're going to see what this guy. Hmm, not bad on the nose with that. Smells sweeter for sure. Yeah, it's a bit sweet. Does smell good though. I'm going to give him just a little bit. Yeah, I'll feel him for Carlos on the baby mouth. Yeah, he will. So, they've got these over at uh, North Shore and Eagle Liquors. Go check them out. <clears throat> it looks good. It, it looks amazing. Appearance, right? appearance, I mean, for me, it's about a four, four-ish. I'll go three and a half. Okay. Round down or up? They what? Round down or up. Aroma, I'm giving it about a four, too. It's got, it's a little like. It's a little kick on, yeah, there on, the, in nose. The, in, on the nose. It does smell like the head of the bottle, though. Yep, and we're smoking some cigars. Shit, I can't even remember what kind of cigars these are. And I can't read very good, so it's all good. My father's cigars. So, here's Fresh Crack Friday. Yes, sir. Boom. It actually don't have. It actually don't have a burn at all. No, well, it doesn't. Like. You you get it right there on the nose palate, but so even something Carlos can handle. 115 proof in his head, he would already know it's going to be hot. In his head, he'll get in his own head. But actually, that's I get some. Believe it or not, like a taste of banana. I like, was going to say either banana or like vanilla. Yeah, it's it's so it's like sweet in that area. And. A little bit of like cinnamon too, because I can feel the heat just a little bit. Yeah, you can feel it when it gets further down, but that's about it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So I'm going four four. Taste, I'm gonna stick it around a four as well. Finish. I mean, it's it's good. Not great. No, I. I've had better with how many you've had on this show. Yeah. Um, yeah. Definitely have. Definitely had better. But, I mean, it's not bad at all. It would be a good weekend kind of thing. Like, I'm going to sip on this on the weekend. It's not a daily you know, drinker. No. I'm going to let it breathe a little bit because I have a feeling the next glass is going to taste a lot different. And I might have to rejudge. 
could see that. I really feel that way because it's, yeah, that, that initial neck pour. I feel like I got to close my throat thought, sometimes with that. For sure, probably three and a half and then four is on the rest. I'll go mm -hmm. with that. I'll just give it that three and a half on that. So I'm at, I'm at a 16 out of 20. And if you're four, four, 12 and three and a half, so you're at 15 and, and, a, half. 15 and a half. Um, but that's off the initial. So yeah. I want to, I want to try, I want to try it after it's opened up a little bit and I bet it's going to probably have a lot different taste. Not bad though at all. I'll give it that. Uh, What's that? It's not bad at all. Mm. Oh, it's good. It's just now. You can go for round two. Yep. Just want to give it a little bit more. He said round two. <laughs> Take me to round two. Yep. Yep. Still got that that smell on it. Guys, I hate to say it, but that'll probably be the only glass I have tonight. You probably won't even see me finish it. Just not a bourbon drinker, like he said. About like my wife, as y'all seen last week. Two? No, that or was two, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, three weeks ago. That was a couple weeks ago. It tastes like bourbon. That's hot. Got a little heat to it, huh? Carlos would cry. Carlos, Carlos would cry. Would cry. <laughs> he probably uh, would. God, it's muggy out. It I'm telling you. Muggy. Getting tired of this rain and sunshine. About ready for some fall weather, man. Yeah. Ready for some football. Football. Weather. You good over there? Yeah. What's up, bitches? She had throw it out there. There she is. <sighs> so, second round definitely a bit more appealing bit more appealing i might keep keep it at the same though i just don't it's not opened it up enough to make me change my my choice on it at all at all pd pop i will say they're doing a good choice though it's a good store pick choice so alex said it was the first barrel they tried and they were like, that's the one. So, yeah. Yeah, head over and see those guys over at uh, Eagle. Thank you. Alex, Greg, the rest of the crew, um, they'll take care of you. They got a lot of cool stuff in. They got Redemption in. They got a bunch of other bourbons in there. Um, you know, or go, over, go over and see the boys over at Hickson Liquors. Here, plug you. Carlos told me I wasn't plugging you enough. Mm. They won't have this because this is a store pick for there. Also, there's a new uh, new store opening up up here in Hickson. Yeah. Called Hilltop Bottle Shop, right on 153 across from uh, Academy and all that. I saw them loading everything in there. I'm probably gonna go in there and do like a a video. What the hell? Give it a shot and see what happens. You know, give it a try. Outside the house. Yeah. Get out of the comfort zone a little bit. And then one of these weeks, we're going to actually do one at Scenic City Cigars. Where they actually all do like a bottle share. I'm thinking about cracking one open there and having guys all around there and checking it out. There so you go. a lot of exciting stuff coming in the future. As long as uh, I'm not traveling and Carlos isn't traveling. Missed last week, went to Baltimore. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's neat. Well, that's neat. Oh, you're so fun. <laughs> so fun. All right, well, we're gonna crack this, uh, not crack it, we're gonna wrap this thing up. Because he's just very talkative. Yep. So talkative, man. Y'all y'all see why I'm the camera guy. Yeah, he usually when they hit start and stop. Start and stop. And then he'll have a comment back there. Not like Ed McMahon over here. 
but she's been pretty quiet tonight too. But she's also watching the grandson, so you know. But uh, yeah, head over to Eagle Liquors, pick this up, give her a try. I might give that to Carlos when he gets back. Who knows? Because uh, it's good, but like he said, it might be like a weekend type of thing. It's not a daily drinker for me at all. all right. So, cool. Well, we're going to head out. Peace.